three men are in trouble and only two lifeguards with rescue boards. With all the rescue boards in use, Bobby commandeers a local surfers. Kerbock spots a swimmer struggling at the south end. Hey Hoppo, you got those two straight in front of you there? That guy's struggling. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in. Yeah, he's going under, mate. Help me, please. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't that panic, don't panic. Help me, please. You're all right, mate, you're all right. Settle down. Just lie there, lie there, just lie there. No, just lie there. Head lifeguard Hoppo is struggling to keep him on the rescue board. Can't get this guy in. Dead set panicking out there. Reedy paddles out to help, but the man's friends decide they need rescuing too. Three men are in trouble and only two lifeguards with rescue boards. Yeah, Ryan, eh, hey, Bob? You guys there with Hoppo, mate? This guy's struggling. I'm going as well. It's like there's a little mass rescue, except I don't really have a board, do I? With all the rescue boards in use, Bobby commandeers a local surfers. Listen, come back, listen, you gotta line your stomach, okay, and face to the shore. Stretch, uh, it's pretty heavy. There's no one else on the beach at the moment, so we've got to try to get the boys back into their positions again. And you know, if something else happened, it's, uh, it's pretty dangerous. The first man is transferred to Reedy's larger board, but Reedy is having no more success calming him down. Two of the men are paddled in. You hang on. Finally, the first man calms down and is brought to shore. Simron is a student from India. He's here with friends enjoying a summer of cricket in Australia. They just help me. I'm very thankful for him. Actually, mate, we don't know how to swim. That's why. They're very brave. There's an incident at the water's edge. Just running in. Going on here. Can you get someone down to help me? 15-year-old Georgia hit her head on a sandbank after diving under a wave. How you going? It's Terry here. You're with plenty of help, OK? I'm just going to lay you straight down. We want all the hands under her back here. And on three, we're going to lay it back, OK? One, two, three. Back with them. No, but just laying you down, that's enough. If Georgia has injured her spine, it's critical she's kept still to prevent making the injury worse. In shock, Georgia is treated with oxygen. A little loss of memory, maybe a temporary yeah. knocked out. Yeah. That oxygen seems to be doing the world yeah. of good, okay? The pulse is slowing down. Yeah. That's good. She's taken a little knock to the head and a little bit of maybe concussion and stuff, but we've just got to do some further tests just to make sure she's okay. But sometimes you can hurt your neck when you hit your head. Before Georgia is moved, her neck is braced. It's not going to be painful, it's just going to help your neck. Okay, well that's, that's good. Right. more reason to put this collar on, okay? Where's the tingling? Tingling sensations can also indicate spinal injury. Okay. Another first aid lesson. Maintaining body temperature helps minimise shock. We're from the Blue Mountains, so it was meant to be a good day out. It's really scary. I don't really... I don't know, I just hope she's OK. Georgia? Georgia, open your eyes up. Yeah. Just relax, darling. Relax. OK? You get yourself all upset. Safely immobilised, Georgia is transported to a waiting ambulance. You found okay? <laughs> 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 
On patrol, Yatesy's exercise routine is interrupted. A mother is concerned that her son has swum too far out. Are the goggles? Yeah. What's his name? The boy at first appears in control. Then, suddenly, he starts to sink. That guy was gone for all money. A surfer has kept the boy afloat. Very lucky. Very lucky. I think Yates is having a bit of trouble getting the guy on the board. It should be a simple pickup, but as they drift further out to sea, things aren't going according to plan. <laughs> This can go down in the record books, the longest funniest rescue. Even safely ashore, the boy's condition continues to puzzle Yatesy. Come on, jump up. It's Yu Xin's first swim at Bondi. So tired, no power to. Yeah. Lifeguards decide to check his pulse to get to the bottom of his condition. Just gonna pop this on your finger. With vital signs okay. It appears Yushin is suffering from simple exhaustion. I, I think he's tired, tired over so there. Tired. So, so I just the call the like... safeguard, and the safeguard is very nice. No, I was watching him, and he was sweet. And when he heard his mum voice, he's like, uh, saw him shake his head, he's like, help. That's when he started yelling out for help. It's dangerous over there, so... Right. So never do this again. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.